Hi everyone, Kim here with Sunshine Creations and Crafts. Uh, I haven't done one of these uh, series videos for the Cricut Art Cartridge Simple Carts, so I thought I'd go ahead and do one today. This is episode 15 and it's cart 16, and it's just, um, you know, the one that has the XO and the XO. Now it has a lot of, um, I'm going to say design per se, on the cards, so I don't, there's only one thing that I really want to add to it that I can see what, that I want to do. So I'll go ahead and get started and then we'll go from there. Now this is just a yellow cardstock base and um, for these cards you cut them out at four inches and they come out to be four by five and a half. So let's get my little, little, my little mini scoreboard here. Some of the little things didn't cut all the way through, but that's okay. And there's little, um, I guess I'm going to call them little like tick lines that you follow so that you know where to fo uh, fold the card. All right, now I want this part here to look green, but I don't want this part to look green here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a piece of white cardstock and do a quick measurement here. I'm going to do it about three inches long and make that part white. Too much stuff on my desk here. Yeah, that should, I think, gosh, that doesn't look like it would, it's going to cover the whole thing. I did measure that right. Yeah, three inches. All right, so three inches. I'll do three and a half for safekeeping. And I don't think we need it this full width here. This is just a scrap. So I'm thinking maybe one inch. And I'm going to put that down on the card first. I really um, like this whole Cricut cartridge, um, you know, because you can add a whole bunch of stuff to the cards, or you can make it simple. This one's going to be kind of simple, but it'll have some nice character to it. I want to make sure I didn't. Well, that's okay that I did that right there. I don't want to cover up my little things there because I'm going to put a piece of green piece of paper. So for the green piece of paper, I want to cut it out at four inches. By five and a half. And the cartridge actually does have an um, insert cut that I, for some reason, I just tend to always want to cut, cut it myself. So you're going to put that in there. So you have your XOXO in your white, and then you have your um, leaves here in green. Let's go ahead and put that down. I'll put a little bit right there. And the glue helps it so that I can move it around a little bit if I don't get it straight on. Okay, so, so far, pretty darn cute. I mean, we'll take it like this if we want to. But I'm going to come in and I'm going to add some green glitter glue. It's from Studio G. It's like stickles. And I'm going to do it on the dots. Not on the leaf parts, but only on the circles. They're not really dots, they're circles. And then that just gives the card a little bit of dimension. Let me grab my spatula. 
Now, if you've never worked with stickles before, just a word of advice, um, they do take a while to dry. So if you're rushing to do this card to, um, you know, put in an envelope and mail it off, it's, um, you know, glitter glue. So it'll stick to your envelope. So you, you want to let it sit for a few hours. Now, um, it looks like it's, you know, really popped up, but um, once the stickles dries, it kind of calms down a little bit. It's not so sticky uppy. You know, it's not so popped up so much. And there it is. Um, like I said, you know, it's it's got a lot of design to the card itself, so as far as adding, you know, any more to it, I don't see, you know, it necessary to do that. You could probably put a, a couple more stickles up there. Let's go ahead and do that. I'll put three in the corner. Yeah, there it is. That kind of balances the whole thing out. All right. There it is. And um, thanks so much for watching. And leave a comment if you have any questions. Have a great day.